Hi everyone, it's Paola. So I am back and I am doing a web design video for you. Basically, I've gotten a lot of questions about how I did my portfolio, how I did my website, just like how to do websites in general. So I thought, you know what, let's do it. Let's talk about it because I feel like it's a really easy thing that not a lot of people know how to do. They just haven't like looked into it. So I'm here to tell you about it. Also, I know this is getting a tad bit annoying, but if you are watching me for the first time or if you have not subscribed, um, what are you doing? Subscribe. Also tell a friend about my channel. I do art and design and also cool other things on this channel. So. So when you are starting out thinking about creating a website, I think the main thing you need to think about is what your brand is. So like with me, for example, I wanted to do basically all of it. I wanted it to be myself. It is about me. I want to guide people back to my YouTube channel, not just show my portfolio, but I also have my portfolio on there. And I also have blogging stuff, even though I need to get back into that. But you know, it's like a whole thing that is around me. So what is it that your brand is? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to be? Are you just letting your work speak for itself? Are you posted on YouTube too? And you want to like put that in there? Are you portfolio website, landing page, whatever you are, really think about that whole branding idea because that will help you and guide you through. So it'll help you in colors, it'll help you in type choices, it'll help you in imagery, it will help you in how you want your website to be laid out. So that was a big part for me when I started designing my website and I feel like that'll help you in understanding what you want to do. Let's talk a little bit about inspiration. So I've gotten a lot of comments about people wanting to see why I did the things I did or how I did the things I did on my website. And I first started off making those decisions because of how many websites and people, designers, artists that I was inspired by. So I have a few that I love, a few standouts. One of them is Alexia Rue. She is a French graphic designer. I found her randomly on Behance and then I found her website and honestly her work is so stunning. Love it. But I love the way that she has laid out her website in a way that is very true to how her work looks. So the website is sort of its own art piece and you can scroll through it. The colors change. There's a lot of like text and scrolling uh, animation, um, which is like a scroll effect. It's very simple. And then there's like just really cool aspects of it, the website that really speak to her work. So I feel like Alexia Rue is a big inspiration for how I decided to lay out mine. I know it looks like nothing like it when you actually think about it, but it's just that idea of understanding why you're doing the things you're doing because of how your work is laid out or the style of your work in general. Another person that I'm really inspired by is Geraldson Chua. It's Gino Chua and he was the creative art director at Condé Nast Traveler and then he has moved to Away, the suitcase brand. He's the creative director there now and I am obsessed with him and his website. Like I go on it all the time for inspiration. Just scrolling through again you can see that his work really informs how his website is laid out and the colors and just all the stylistic choices that he's done. I love it. It's so beautiful and honestly, uh, it's a vibe. Those are just a few websites that I was really inspired by. You might not be, but you might find some designers and artists who are doing something that is similar to you in a way. And I feel like even though my website doesn't visually look exactly the same as theirs, I did let it inform a lot of the design I did on my website. So it's all about your style and your design and your, your work and how you want to display that in the best way possible for your unique sense of style and personality. So actually designing my website, let's get the tea, let's get it going. So I use a hosting website, so if you don't know what that is, it's like WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, all of those, and I use Squarespace. So I don't want to go into like a whole thing about how Squarespace is so amazing and blah 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 because you know what? They don't sponsor me and I'm not getting paid to talk about them. I just use them. I love them. I'm just saying I love Squarespace. Um, but I'm not gonna go into like a full Squarespace tutorial for you I just want to talk generally about you know using a website host because I think it really is the easiest way to have a website I am not a web designer. I don't do UX design that much So it I'm not the kind of person that built a website from scratch and here I'm gonna show you how to do it I just want to talk about the decisions I made in my design my website and portfolio. Why did I say it like that website and um, Yeah, we're just gonna 
talk about it. So when you go to my website, paulaxa.com, link below, um, so you will see a homepage. And I used to not have a homepage, and then I went into that because I felt like it was an easier way, a cleaner way to see all the navigation, like what you're there for. So if you were there on my website to see just my portfolio, you could just click and it'll take you right there. Or if you want to see my blog, if you want to click on my videos, if you want to contact me, whatever. That is all laid out like very clean up front. I used to have a scrolling homepage, which is also fine if that's what you want to do, if that's your aesthetic. It could be all your work, you know, as you scroll through as soon as you get on your website. But for me, I have a lot of other things going on on there. So I wanted it to be very clear when you get on there, not just like, here's a million different things. But like, you can do whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? Like. If you have a portfolio and that's all you have on your website, it would be so cool to just be like, okay, I'm here and I'm scrolling through different like colors, pictures, whatever. And that's great too. So I just did the homepage this way because I wanted it to be like, here's Paola Casa, here's her whole thing, check out my YouTube, check out my art, like all of that. You know what I'm saying? So once you click into that, which I'm going to use my portfolio as the example for all of this because I feel like that's... The, kind of the main reason y'all are here probably so let's go on to portfolio and this is where you see everything laid out and right now I mean I think it works I think it looks professional I'm not obsessed with it I might change the layout of this like whenever I feel like I'm never satisfied with my website but that's okay because it's really easy to change and decide what you want to do so I have it in a way where I have everything laid out you can scroll through all the images and then when you click into an image is where you're gonna see the design the work the info about the work the title all of that you'll see when you click into it and I have a very easy way to get back to your my portfolio with the link um, so I don't have it like super confusing I have it laid out pretty easy it's pretty straightforward um, I know a lot of people try to get creative, but I feel like in a web design, you you want it to be very clear, especially if you're showing your work and your art. You don't want it to be very confusing, you want to be able to see everything very clearly, and you don't want it to be like too artistic to the point where people are like, okay, what do you do? I don't understand. Um, so <laughs> that's a really important part in web design when you're laying everything out. Um, luckily with Squarespace and stuff like that, like hosting websites, you can pick from a template which I did and I picked one that had a way to like share a lot of images in good ways. I mean, you just have to look into what the themes can give you. So I have like scroll effects so I can use that and I have like all these different things that you can turn on and enable. Some of the themes don't have that. You just have to like do your own like little discovery into it when you actually start using it so get into the actual design part of it you know like what to choose how to choose it um with the hosting websites like i said it's really easy once you have a theme to go off of that but you can also bring in some of your own elements so you can bring in like typefaces like it partners with adobe so if you have some typefaces that you want to use you can use those and then like in under design you can add like your logo to a lot of things that you want to add it to you can really brand yourself and all of that it's an, if it's important to you and also with color you can bring in any color code from that you have like that you know the color code for you can totally bring that in copy paste and use whatever brand colors you want it's really like pretty straightforward when you start designing but I think some people really try to stick to the template which you can manipulate that template to be what you want like don't just settle on oh well it's over in the left corner and then the navigation's over on the right because of this template like you can change what you want to change you just have to figure out what's the best way and looking at a lot of examples online is great for that of what you like what you don't like what you think looks the most professional or the most artistic it's really up to you. Okay, so that is what I have for you today. Hopefully that screen recording thing, showing you my design process through web design and setting up my portfolio and, you know, getting some inspiration. Hopefully that all inspired you and it helped you in some way. I will leave links to everything below and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like I said at the top of this video. And also ring the bell to get a notification when I upload, that'd be great. And give it a thumbs up if you like this video and do all the things. Comment to me, I love talking to you guys in the comments. So if you have any thoughts about your website, 
talk it talk it out in the comments we'll talk about it and yeah i will see you in my next video bye bum 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 subscribe